Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about American News Tsunami Surfers. All right, so basically, um, you know, yes, on uh, on March 28th, uh, the st- actually on March 27th, the day of the Oscars, the 2022 Oscars, the world just exploded with this huge story about Will Smith and Chris Rock, and Will Smith slapping Chris Rock dead in the face on stage, and then 45 minutes later, the, every A-list, um, you know, every A-list actor witnessing Will Smith get an Oscar, right, and be celebrated for his work, and listen to him give a speech about love when he had just slapped another human in the face, right, like, it was... It was increasingly this um, this cust this world of customary chaos, right? And one of the things that this story did is it just washed everything away. Like the entire news cycle was was just Will Smith slapping Chris Rock, and it just it swept everything away. And so one of the things that I'm seeing is in modern American society, we have this rhythm of of news coming in like a lapping tide, right? And here's some news about, you know, uh, climate change, right? So easily ignorable, right? It's the same stupid story with different numbers. Nobody cares, right? And like, you're, you're talking to me about, uh, you keep insisting I care about something that's going to happen 30 years from now, right? And, and literally just like nobody cares and, and people are just sick of it, right? So you get this, this tide and then, you know, like, oh, um, renewable, you know, and all the things connected to that. And then there are uh, questions about culture and discussions about American culture and how we interact with each other. And there's just this, these waves lapping in at the shore, right? But then these tsunamis hit, right? These, these new tsunamis just roar in, right? Plague, March, 2020, right? Putin, February, 2022. Uh, Will Smith, the Smith slap, right? March 2022, right? And these things come in, and when these American news tsunamis hit, they just wash everything away, right? And like this, you know, a lot of people, and, and the other issue is sometimes people recognize tsunamis and sometimes they don't, right? There are, you know, there are people who will debate if like, oh, this isn't like, the, the February 2022 Putin problem, right? People are like, oh, this is just another Tuesday. It's just another. We've seen this before. Like, and you're like, no, you're not paying attention. This is truly unique. And like the, the, the March 2022, the Smith slap, right? That's everything America's talking about right now. It's, it's crime, right? It's celebrity overreach. It's the power of celebrities, right? It's hypocrisy, right? Like 300 people, like 300 A-list Hollywood stars who will not shut up about peace literally watch one man slap another man in the face and then celebrate him literally within 45 minutes, right? If that's not the deepest hypocrisy, what is, right? And so, you know, and, and it is also, there's just so much involved in the story, right? And, oh, also, celebrity, oh, here's a good one, privacy, uh, oh, and, oh, comedy, what is, a, what a, uh, the line, that's, that's the best one, the line, when do you walk over the line, right, so people are like, oh, Chris Rock walked over a line, he, he talked about, uh, he talked about, um, you know, Jada Pink, uh, Pinkett Smith's alopecia, Jada Pinkett Smith shared that in a massively public space and opened it for public discourse, right? And then was like, oh, I don't like, now I don't like, you know, I opened this for public discourse. I invited public discourse on this, you know, putting on this on platforms where comments are absolutely like expected. And then the public comes in and this is, and the public is discussing my personal private business, but I put it there. That's a huge conversation in, in in America today, right? And so I think overall, 
one of the things that's happened, and I have to admit this, I'm one of them. I'm one of them. We need to recognize this, right? I am an American news tsunami surfer, right? I've learned to ride the wave, right? And I'm waiting for the next wave, right? And so we also have to look at ourselves and say, Ooh, why are we doing this, right? And I will tell you right now, you know, I'm not looking for spectacle, right? I'm looking to know what's coming, right? Because one of the things, like, very recently, right, because of the Fed, because I paid attention, right? I was like, oh, you know, massive inflation is coming. Oh, it's going to be almost impossible to buy a house. We've made decisions about our cars, right, that come directly from paying hyper close attention to the news, right? We're like, oh, we're going to do this with our car and we're not going to do that with our car because we don't want to replace it right now. I want five years before I'm going to try to squeeze five more years out of these cars, right? These are very real on the ground decisions. So like people are like, oh, you're just watching for a spectacle. No, I got life decisions to make based on the news, right? But at the same time, I can't help but realize I got surf wax, right? For my board, you know, I'm becoming very used to American news tsunami surfing, right? And we have an entire crew of American news tsunami surfers who are being raised up and learning to do this, right? And I think we just have to have an open and honest conversation about it, right? And um, it's very, it's it's really fascinating. So my question to you, are you an American news tsunami surfer? What do you think of the rise of American news tsunami surfers? Is this a thing we should have? Is this necessary from simply paying attention so we can make life decisions? Or are we seeking spectacle? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.